Joining us now is Dr. Judith Joseph. She's Clinical Assistant Professor of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry at NYU Langone Medical Center here in New York. I was on a breaking news CNN segment with Anderson Cooper about Princess Kate's recent cancer diagnosis. As a pediatric and adult psychiatrist, I get urgent calls for consultations on death and serious illness all the time. Anderson Cooper is especially interested in grief because he lost his father when he was only 10 years old. Here's what we discussed. Make sure the child feels safe when delivering the news. Be in a cozy setting and use calm tones. It's okay to cry, but don't panic because children marry you. Tell the truth. Use words that are simple but honest. When children sense that you are hiding something, they imagine the worst is happening, so don't sugarcoat it. What does a five-year-old know about death compared to an eight-year-old or You'd a ten-year-old? You'd be surprised. You know, children have access to information in this day and age. Everyone should know the next steps and let children share their ideas so they feel like they have a say. Keep routine constant and let them know that many things may feel uncertain, but your life will mostly be the same. You'll still go to school, you'll still have a home, people will still love you and take care of you. Anderson recently interviewed Prince Harry on national television about his complicated grief with regards to the loss of Princess Diana. We talked about how the traumatic loss of Princess Diana may have impacted the way that the royal family delivered the news to Prince William's children and how they chose to deliver this information to the rest of the world. Sending thoughts and prayers to the royal family. And thank you, Anderson Cooper and CNN, for including me in this.